Hello and welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. If you're new here, welcome. You have entered into the special self-care journey through the chakras. All previous chakra yoga videos are found in the description box below. If you're not new here, welcome back. I hope that you are enjoying our journey. This practice is your cozy and accessible yoga class to tend to your throat chakra, the seat of expressing your truth freely and openly. And so today's practice, we are going to be focusing on stretching out this area, opening up this area in your body. And props you're gonna want for today's practice are your usual props that we tend to use in this class. So a couple of blocks, your mat, a blanket, maybe, a bolster, maybe, <laughs> and a meditation cushion. These are always props that I tend to grab for my own practice, so I usually say just grab them all and we'll probably use at least one or possibly all of them. <laughs> So please grab your props, put on your comfy clothes, and let's get started. Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn, teaching empaths and sensitive souls just like you how to create a collaborative relationship with your body through cozy, accessible yoga and self-care practices in order to live a life filled with less doing and more being. So I would love, please, if you could make your way into a comfortable seated position. That might be a cross-legged shape, but it might also be hero's pose, which we have practiced before, using the bolster in between your thighs and bringing your, your knees down on the floor, and then you've got your hips positioned on your bolster. This is a really, really nice option to help really raise the floor up to meet up with your body. And it's almost like impossible to, to schlump <laughs> is the word that's coming to mind. It's almost impossible um, to hunch forward. So your spine will most likely feel nice and tall and your torso will feel open, which will be really helpful for the poses that we'll be focusing on today's practice. So once you've come into your comfortable seat, I will ask that you please allow your hands to settle wherever they would like to fall. You do any last and final adjustments in the physical body so that you can then settle into stillness. So let, let yourself really take your time. Maybe there's like a few last stretches, less wiggles, or you need to adjust the props that you're using. Um, and if I begin to invite you into centering too quickly, by all means, just pause if you need to at any point so that you don't feel rushed at all. And then if it feels okay, you bring your eyes to a close. Letting yourself arrive into the sacred container that is your yoga practice. This is your practice. This is your space to feel held, to feel loved, and to be exactly as you are. For the next few moments, I'm going to share the energies that are found within your throat chakra. So the only thing that you have to do here is breathe and listen. <laughs> your throat chakra is located in your throat, of course, right? Right in the center of your throat, but also includes your ears. Your throat chakra is the seat of healthy communication, of finding the balance between expressing yourself and also listening, of sharing and expressing your truth freely and openly and filled with trust that you will be heard and that it is right and it is okay for you to share your emotions, your thoughts, and for you to express yourself. That you communicate in a way that is filled with compassion, kindness, and love. The color associated with this chakra is blue. And its element an Ayurvedic tradition is space or ether. So if you think of the space that is between all things.
As you continue to breathe, you watch and you feel and you notice as the breath moves in and out of your throat. You sense into the temperature of the air as it moves in and the temperature and the quality of the air as it moves back out. The affirmations or mantras that I've chosen for today's practice are a little bit lengthier than the other ones because it's in this chakra and the next few practices where the energies begin to blend with themselves. So it's not only about speaking your truth, but it's about a whole lot more that's found within expressing yourself and trusting the process. The mantras are, my voice is heard. I listen and speak freely and openly. I trust that I am safe to share my truth. My voice is heard. I listen and speak freely and openly. I trust that I am safe to share my truth. Let's take three releasing breaths in this spot before you invite in some movement. You'll take an inhale. Out the mouth, let it go with a sigh. Even if it sounds kind of weird or feels weird to do, two more like that, inhale. Let's bring some gentle and loving movement into your neck. We'll start with some movement. You'll take an inhale right where you are. Exhale, drop the chin towards the chest. When you take your inhale, you'll roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. Like you're moving through a pot of honey. Exhale. You slowly drop the chin back down towards the chest and your inhale guides your left ear towards your left shoulder. Continue with that, allowing it to be soft, exploratory, and with no end goal or end destination needed here. Feel your way through, explore open and tend to yourself. The next time you roll the right ear towards the right shoulder, pause there. Notice if you're doing anything funky with your spine or your hips or your shoulders. So maintaining length in your spine, staying connected into your center and your shoulders are soft. Before we really focus on this left side of your neck, 
I'll ask that you bring your eyes to a close if they're not closed and you move around a little bit here. So like moving your head as if you're saying no. And then moving your head as if you're saying yes. Being led by the tip of your nose. And you find a spot where you really feel the sensation. So it might be chin a little bit closer up towards the sky or chin a little bit closer towards your chest. And then once you find that spot, release the jaw, open and close the mouth a couple times. And then let that go. And then from here, you're going to pick up into the right hand and place the palm of your right hand on your chest. Maybe you're touching your skin or you're, you've got a shirt there, but kind of gripping into that spot and pulling the skin down towards your right knee. And then from here, you'll pick up into the left hand and begin to graze the length of your neck with your fingertips. Again, let it be soft. We're tending here, caring here, loving. It can be a really vulnerable practice to lean into feeling safe to express yourself. So it requires a lot of softness. It's also a really humbling experience or humbling practice to rein yourself in if you are somebody who talks a lot and shares a lot and that maybe you could benefit from listening a bit more to offer yourself compassion within that practice so it's all filled with love <laughs> as you continue to massage the length of your neck it doesn't have to be directly on the side you can move a bit more to the front or maybe you go as far as behind your neck or behind your ear And then you'll release that. You'll slide the left hand back down onto the lap, the right hand back down onto the lap, and then drop the chin back down towards the chest. Reset your shoulders and your spine. And then rolling over towards the other side, allowing your left ear now to float above your left shoulder, focusing now on the right side of your neck. And before we find that stillness and that wonderful massage, you'll bring some movement, like as if you're saying no, leading with the tip of your nose. And then like as if you're saying yes with the head up and down. And then within all of that exploration and that movement that you found, you pick a spot where you really feel it. It might be entirely and completely different than the other side. Mine, definitely, I find that it's very different on this side. And that's okay. And then to release the jaw, open and close the mouth a few times. And then we'll bring some love, some care. So you'll pick up into the left hand and place the left palm of the hand on your chest and then pull the skin down towards your left knee. And then pick up in the right hand and begin to graze your fingertips along the length of your neck. I'll also mention here that we've been seated in this shape, whatever shape that you have been in for quite some time. And by all means, if you need to release your legs at any point, please do. You don't um, have to suffer your way through if anything feels uncomfortable. My voice is heard. I listen and speak freely and openly. 
I trust that I am safe to speak my truth. Okay. You'll release the right hand back down towards your lap and your left hand is gonna stay really close to in front of you because you'll want it very soon. You'll drop the chin back down towards the chest. And then just because it's nice to be extra careful with the body, you'll use the left hand to lift your head back up. And then releasing the hand back down. Beautiful. Now we'll find a bit, a bit bigger movement, but this practice is like really slow, really soft. <laughs> so if you're in hero's pose, I'll ask that you just move the bolster out from beneath you. If you are in a seated position, so your sit bones are connected to the floor, please meet us in hero's pose. We're gonna be moving through um, a camel pose flow. So from where you are, you'll just enjoy a moment here in tabletop position, lengthening into one leg and then lengthening into the other leg. And I'll mention here that child's pose is going to be the, the bookend shape of this flow. If you know that your forehead doesn't comfortably meet with the floor, then by all means, please use a block or a cushion underneath of your forehead to help support your body. It won't get in the way of the flow. Same thing to be said with a prop behind your sit bones, so you can place a prop in between your heels and your hips. Again, that won't really get in the way of our shape because your legs aren't really gonna be moving in this next sequence. So you let your forehead connect down towards the floor and you feel your shin bones, so your legs, the tops of the feet connected into the floor. Sensing into your foundation to help support the movement. When you begin to take your next inhale, you'll press into your foundation, so your shins, your knees, your feet, to lift yourself up like as if you're standing but you're on your knees. And you reach the fingertips up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you open the arms wide and the hands will settle onto your low back, fingertips down, pull the elbows in towards each other, and you allow the heart to reach up towards the sky. Let your head not tip back, so maintain length in the back of your neck, but the tip of your nose reaches up. Exhale as you slide the hands down your thighs and the arms settle beside your legs and your forehead connects with block or floor. I'm going to guide you through a few more and then I'm going to let you flow. Inhale, you press into the knees. You reach the hands forward and up. As you exhale, you open the arms, create space in the front line of your body. Your hands connect to your low back, fingertips down, pull the elbows in. Inhale as you let the front line of your body, your heart, your throat open. Exhale as you slide the hands down. You release that shape and you let yourself turn back inwards. And again, inhale, you lift, feeling that rising energy. Exhale, you open. Exhale, shine the heart, the throat up. Exhale, bow. Continue with that. My voice is heard. I listen and speak openly and freely. I trust that it is safe to speak my truth. Next time you bring yourself down into your child's pose, you will rest here. So your arms can now come in front of you if that feels more comfortable, but they absolutely can stay by the side of your legs. 
You can widen your knees if you'd like to create a bit more space for your body. And as you enjoy the next few moments in your child's pose, you will move through a pranayama, a breathing technique or breathing exercise that I find really activates the throat chakra because you create a, a slight noise with your exhale. It's called Brahmari breath. There are a few different ways within which you can practice this pranayama, but this is the one that I find is a really comforting way. So you'll take an inhale, just a regular old inhale that you're very used to. And then as you exhale with closed lips, you hum. There's no certain pitch or note you need to hit here. Inhale. You're just making whatever sound comes out. Exhale at the nose and hum. Mm -hmm. Again, if it feels weird, it's okay. It's just yoga. It's not so serious. Inhale. feel the vibrations. Inhale. slide the hands underneath the shoulders you'll press yourself up and make your way onto your back for our last shape bring your block with you you will want that prop once you make your way onto your back You'll bring a bend to the legs and the soles of the feet to come onto the floor. To help release your low back after those last movements, you can allow the knees to fall from side to side. Last shape you're coming into is waterfall pose. I find this shape is a really wonderful one to feel really held which can invite in this sense of, of trust in support. And trust is a really helpful aspect of expressing yourself. You'll come back into stillness as you allow the knees to fall from side to side. You pause. Block is in hand and you press into feet to lift the hips up and slide your block underneath of your hips. You're going to want to position your block probably a little bit higher than you typically would if you come into your supported bridge so that then you won't feel like you really have to hold your legs up so much. So from here, you will then allow your feet to slide up, extend the legs up towards the sky. And you do a little bit of wiggling and repositioning so that you don't feel like, again, you have to really hold your legs up so much. And you want this to feel good so there's no discomfort in the position of the block. You can breathe really deeply here. Lengthen into the back of the neck, but maintain space in the front of the throat. Your arms are just by your side, palm down or palm up. The eyes closed and breathe.
release out of the shape. You'll slide the feet back down towards the floor. You'll press into the feet to lift the hips up and remove the block out from beneath your body. Your hips come back down towards the floor. Let's take a nice big open shape with the body. Stretch the arms up, extend the legs long, stretch out into your neck. You can allow the head to rock from side to side and breathe. Knees come in towards the chest, hug the knees in, rock from side to side. Rolling onto the right side of the body so you can press yourself up to come into your seat. Bringing the hands into heart center, pressing the palms together, thumbs in towards the heart and the eyes are closed if that feels safe. We'll end today's practice with the mantras that have been carrying us through and then end with one last breath together. My voice is heard. I listen and speak openly and freely. I trust that it is safe to share my truth. Take an inhale. Out the mouth, let it go. Softly opening up into the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me during today's throat chakra yoga practice. I hope that today's practice served you well. I hope that this self-care journey through the chakras is serving you well. If so, please let me know in the comments below or share this video with someone you think would benefit from it. And please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It's the best way to continue to support this, this channel that is offering free online accessible yoga. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to hanging out with you next time.